I'm Anil Kumar. We have an excellent example on hypergeometric distribution. Department of Fisheries tagged 1,000 fish in a lake. 400 fish were caught later and 50 of them had been tagged. What is the approximate size of the fish population in this lake? You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now in this particular case, we are tagging different fishes, right? So therefore, it is a dependent event. And in this dependent event, we'll call success when you catch a fish which is having a tag and failure is without tag, right? Without tag will be treated as a failure. So there are only two outcomes, right? So there are only two outcomes. So that defines that this is hypergeometric distribution where we have limited number of trials, right? So we have limited trials. So these are the characteristics which identify whether a distribution is geometric binomial or hypergeometric. So hypergeometric is one which is dependent. All others which you studied were dependent. All others were independent. This is the dependent one, right? Since every fish is different here. And when you catch a fish, the population sample changes, right? So the probability changes. So these are all dependent events with two outcomes, success or failure. Now let us define our random variable. So let the random variable x be the number of tagged fish caught. So now we'll see how to solve such a question. So we'll first define our random variable and then go about. So the random variable for us x is number of tagged fish caught. So that's the random variable, right? Now in this, what is the total population? So the total population will be sum of tagged fish plus not tagged or without tag. So total is that sum, right? That is what it is. Now let's look into the question. It says that Department of Fisheries tagged 1,000 fish in a lake, right? So let's say A is tagged fish. In that case, 1,000 has been tagged, so that is 1,000, right? And we say B is not tagged or without tag. We don't know what this is. That is the fish population we want to find out, correct? Now, when 400 fish were caught, 50 of them had been tagged. So out of 400, which is the total number of fish caught, so we'll say N, the number of fish caught is 400. Total number of fish caught is 400, out of which 50 of them had been tagged. So that is the expected value, right? which is 50. Now in hypergeometric distribution, the formula for expected value is n times a over total population, which is a plus b. Is that okay? That's the formula. Now in this, we have all these values given to us. We can substitute and find the answer. So we have 50 as expected values. So write 50 here equals to n is 400 times a, which is 1000 divided by a plus b which is 1000 plus b right so so that is it now we can actually cross multiply and find the value of b this is the only unknown right so we have 50 times 1000 plus b equals to 400 thousand correct so you can actually divide by 50. So we get 1000 plus B equals to 400.
100,000 divided by 50, correct? So at this stage, in like we'll just cancel and figure it out. So, so 40,000, it is now 4,000. We canceled out this one zero, right? 400,000, one zero cancel. So when you divide, so five goes eight times, so 8,000. So we get 8,000. Correct. So, 1000 plus B is 8000, right? So, that is the denominator, 1000 plus B, which is, which is the population of 8000, correct? You could actually find B from here first and then write down the population. So, we'll rearrange this formula. So, B is equals to 8000 minus 1000, which is 7000. Is it okay? Since we are saying population is sum of both tagged and not tagged, so therefore the population will be equals to A plus B, which is 1000 plus 7000. So 8000 is the population of fish in this particular lake, right? So we have our answer, which is around 8000. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now, it's very important to understand that we could have just written here the population, right? Total population. It becomes a very simple ratio kind of a equation to solve, right? So population will be 400,000 divided by the expected number of fish which were caught. So that is how you could solve these questions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you. and. All the best.